All right, what's up, guys? So this is going to be my breakdown of Eris Landy Lara against Jerry Heard, okay? Um, I recently said in a video, I don't know, probably a few months. It's probably old now, but uh, where I stressed how dangerous of a fight for uh, Lara this is, okay? Uh, I think people are really underestimating Jerry Heard, okay? Um, and his ability to come forward. I know he gets hit a lot coming forward. I know in the Tony Harrison fight, uh, we see him coming forward, getting hit a lot, right? Harrison was winning the earlier rounds. Same thing with Austin Trout. Trout was clearly winning the earlier rounds, okay? Um, but I think that goes, I think that was all a part of Jerry Hurd's game plan, okay? I think this guy wants to see how hard these guys punch, and he he's a bigger, listen, this guy is huge at 154, okay? He's bigger than Jamal Charlo was, okay? Jared Hurd is a huge fighter at 154. And he came forward against these guys because he didn't really respect their power. Um, and he doesn't always fight that way. And this is what I brought up before in another video. Jared, Jared Hurd, when you, when you watch him fight against Frank Galarza, he's on his back foot. He's setting traps. He's countering. He's slipping punches. Okay? He's more of a defensive fighter when he fights certain people. Same thing with Jojo Dan. Okay, for Jojo Dan, uh, Dan is a much, you know, a, a 147 fighter. Okay, um, he didn't have any business being in the ring with Jared Hurd to begin with. But Jared Hurd didn't walk him down. Jared Hurd fought on his back foot on purpose, let Dan come to him. And he countered him all night. And he dominated Dan, okay? Not saying much, but I'm just saying when he fights certain fighters, he picks and chooses how he is going to fight him, whatever way is going to benefit him the most, okay? Against against Tony Harrison, we see Tony Harrison get pressured uh, by Willie Nelson, and Willie Nelson eventually stopped him, all right? Tony Harrison doesn't have the greatest stamina, and this is part of the reason why Jared Hurd walked him down, even though he was getting outboxed, even though he was getting hit a lot. Jared Hurd chose chose to walk him down because he was the bigger fighter, he was a harder puncher, and Harrison slowed down, and he he couldn't maintain that position he had, that lead he had on points. He couldn't do it, and the same thing happened with uh recently with Austin Trout. Austin Trout was doing extremely well. All right, he was showing his experience. He was landing a lot of shots, okay? He was completely outboxing him. He was going to his body, but Hurd just didn't respect his power. With every one punch Hurd landed against uh, Austin Trout, it took five of Trout punches to, to equal, you know, to have that same effect, you know? Every time you saw Hurd land a shot against Trout, you saw the difference in his face, his reaction. It was more effective. Heard is a huge guy at 154. And Trout is not even a small dude. But Heard made him look so small in that rink. Okay? He's a big... He, listen, the guy's a big guy. And he could take the punches. He's very durable. And, you know, he can, he can, he has the, he has the size to be able to, to fight that way. He might as well use that size advantage and, and, and pressure these fighters. He might as well use it. Okay, and he's gonna need it against Eris Landy Lara. Okay, because the only time we seen Lara really in trouble was when he fought Angulo. You know, you can make the argument that Angulo was winning that fight late in that fight because of the two knockdowns. Okay, uh, Angulo was also getting hit a lot by Lara. Lara was landing combinations, everything. Even Lara, Lara. That's one of the few fights where you really saw Lara fighting on the inside because he had no choice. Angulo was all over him, okay? And you couldn't expect the same from Jared Hurd, you know? Hurd is going to be all over Lara, you know? And this is an older Lara, okay? The only difference is, well, there's a few differences between that fight and this one, okay? The thing is with Jared Hurd, expect him to get hit a lot. Of course, Lara is going to be landing the straight left. Okay, Lara is going to be on his move. He's going to be on a bike. He's not like Trout. You know, Trout stayed in the pocket with her a little too long. Okay, Trout traded with Jared Hurd. 
all right? Um, it was a little different with Harrison because Harrison was trying to move, but he doesn't have the legs that Laura has, okay? He doesn't have the experience that Trout has, all right? He's not as durable as Trout was neither. But Trout, as durable as he is, heard was just more effective, okay? His punches hurt a lot more, and he just couldn't maintain it. Laura's not going to be doing what those two did, okay? Not only is he going to be moving better, but he's never going to trade at any point with Jared Hurd. He just doesn't fight that way. He doesn't fight that way. And I know Laura didn't look overly impressive against Goucher and all of the recent fighters. He's been fighting lower quality opponents since Canelo, okay? He did fight Vanis Monterosian in a rematch, but it wasn't the greatest fight. Okay, he did fight Adelman Rodriguez and a few other guys that none of us really care about, right? But he, now he's fighting a guy that's going to be coming towards him, all right? More of the recent fights, Lara actually stood straight up with most of the fighters he's fought. He hasn't really moved that much since he's fought Canelo, okay? He wasn't fighting in the opponents that pressured him enough for him to go back to that you know, um, dancing around the ring all day. He hasn't he hasn't fought anyone that made him do that. Okay, he didn't have that much respect for them. Jared Hur is definitely going to be playing into Laura's fighting style. All right, Laura likes to cover up. He doesn't like to, you know, when you're inside on him and when you're throwing combinations on him. Laura covers up. All right, he brings a high guard. He's good at taking shots to the body. I mean, most of these guys go to his body. Canelo went to his body, and Gulo went to his body. And he's usually good at taking the shots. You can expect her to go to the body to try to open up Lara up top. Um, but Lara, this is the thing. He's going to be on the move. So it's going to be it's a tough fight to call because we already know what Hurd is going to do. Hurd is going to bring the pressure straight to Lara. He's going to bring the pressure all night to Laura. Is Laura power different from Trout and Harrison? You know, I think Laura may have some more power, but not dramatic power difference between those other two. OK, Laura has good power. I mean, earlier in his professional career, when he was fighting the bums and stuff, he was knocking these guys out. OK, once he started fighting the better opponents like the Carlos Molinas, the Paul Williams, uh, the Canelos and so on and so forth. He couldn't really knock them out, okay? He stopped Angulo because he gave Angulo so much punishment in that fight. You know, Angulo was, you know, pretty much, he, um, you know, his eyes swelled up and, you know, he stopped the fight and everything. But will Jared Hur respect Laura's power? Because as good as Laura is on his legs, at some point, at some point, He's going to get tired. He did against Angulo, okay? He did take some rounds off where he wasn't as mobile because Angulo was going to the body. He was pressuring him heavy, all right? So at some point, as good as you are on your legs, you're going to get tired of moving. You're going to be against the ropes, which Lara was when he got dropped, okay? You're going to get lazy. You're going to start dropping your guard, all right? And this is when Herod is going to try to explode on Eris Lenny Lara. When, er when Laura is not moving, this is when Hurt is going to explode. And Hurt is a much better fighter than Angulo, all right? Period. Much better fighter. Defensively better. I don't know if he hits harder or not, but he's a bigger guy. He's more durable. He's quicker on his feet, okay? He is a much better fighter than Angulo. So this is a big challenge for Eris Lenny Laura. Um... I think the fight could go either way. I think the fight is a 50-50 fight. I think people are underestimating Jared Hurd, okay? Um, I don't expect Hurd to fight on a back foot, okay? I don't think he's going to do that um, at, at any point. He won't have to because Laura is not going to press the fight if you're not bringing the fight to him. He's not. And this is why most people, most of the time, his performances are not that great because when it comes to him, Pressing the action, Laura is not great at that. Laura likes to counter, shooting that straight left, shooting that right hook. You know, he's that's he's a very patient fighter. Okay, he likes to move. You know, he likes to change directions. He likes to wait until the opportunity is there for him to shoot that left hand. All right, very basic game, but technically it's so difficult for most oppo opponents. Jared Hurd is going to be in his face. 
expect Lara to win the first few rounds easily, okay? The first three, maybe four rounds, Lara should be ahead just like Trout was, just like Harrison was arguably, okay? But expect her to take control at some point. He's going to bring the pressure to Lara. And he's going to land bombs and combinations, faster hands than Angulo, okay? He's going to go to his body. I expect her to go to Laura's body as early as the first round, okay? Because he wants Laura to drop his guard, eventually go to the ropes, and land a shot that's going to hurt him, okay? Um, we don't see Laura get hit that much, all right? But from what we've seen, he's only been dropped twice by the same fighter, Canelo wasn't able to drop him. Canelo was landing some vicious body shots in that fight, and he still couldn't stop Laura from moving, okay? It's going to take Hurd a lot. It's a stretch. Um, I think if Hurd is to win, I think he can win either way because it really depends on how the judges are. The judges aren't always favorable to Laura because of his style, okay? If he's too boring, they'll give it to the other fighter. Laura does not take it out of first gear. Whatever, the way you see Laura, the way that he likes to fight, is the way, that's what you're getting. You're not getting any more than that, okay? If Laura is dominating, if Laura is the clear superior boxer, he's not going to take it up another level. Laura fights a safe fight all the time. Uh, Hurd can win by points. Hurd can win by knockout. I think if Hurd wins by knockout, it'll be a later knockout. Ninth, 10th round, you know, maybe, you know, no earlier than the 8th round, depending on how, um, you know, how much success he's having pressure in Laura, okay? Um, but if Laura hits him hard enough to where Jared Hurd respects his power, then Jared Hurd is not going to be as aggressive as we normally see him, okay? I really, truly believe he just wasn't respecting Trouts and Harris's power, okay? He was getting hit from rounds and rounds, and people don't like Hurd and think that, you know, he don't think he's that good because of the amount of times he gets hit. He does get hit, at least in those fights, he gets hit a lot. But it's been working for him because no one's ever stopped Austin Trout before. You know, I know Trout is older, but he recently had a fight that I thought was a draw, a draw against Jamal Charlo, okay? Um, those guys had a war, and Jamal Charlo, as hard as he hit, is probably one of the hardest punchers at 154 when he was there. Um, he just couldn't hurt Trout. I don't believe he dropped Trout in that fight at all, okay? So, with all that being said, I'm going to pick Laura because until I see Laura lose, okay, I'm always going to pick him at 154. I would never pick against him leading up to a fight. But out of all of the fights that are available, including Jamel, Charlo, Jamel, all right, Jamel, I think, would have a better shot, would look better against Hurd because I think Jamel can actually hurt him. And if Jamel doesn't come forward against Hurd, Hurd Jamel can always revert back to fighting on the back foot. He's just more aggressive than Lara is. But with that being said, I think Jamel doesn't stand much of a chance fighting against Lara, okay? I just don't think... I think Laura style would make it, it would work out fighting a Jamel Charlo. Um, but Hurd, I think, has a much better chance of beating Laura. In fact, I think Hurd is the best, has the best chance at 154 today at being Eris Lanny Laura and neutralizing his style, finally getting to Laura. Enough pressure, enough pressure can beat Eris Lanny Laura. I just don't know if Hurd is going to be able to do it. He has the size. He has the reach. Okay. He has the skills. He does have skills. He has a good jab. All right. It's just that will it be enough? All right. Will it be enough to be able to beat Laura? I don't know. All right. But I have Laura still winning this one by decision. But if anybody's going to beat Ares Landy Laura, it'll be Jared Hurd. All right. Either by points or knockout. Because, like I said, with points, you never know. You know, the, the judges. Might be more impressed with Hurd's activity, or you know, Hurd might actually beat Laura and stop Laura. We've seen Laura down by a fighter that fights similar to the way Hurd could fight, chooses to fight. It's just that will Hurd do enough? Will he Hurd do what Angulo did? That's what it's all about in this fight, all right? So I have Laura winning by decision. I think it's 50 50, it can go either way, but I'm still gonna rock with Laura 
Not only because he's one of my favorite fighters, but but I really think he's that good. I think he will find a way. I'm just not too sure with this one. I think this is a dangerous one for Lara, and this is one that he has a good chance of losing, all right? Let me know what you guys think. Leave the comments. Make sure you subscribe. See you on the next one. Peace.